this morning, worshiping with us at St. Thomas will be sisters and their families of the Delaware Valley, Pennsylvania chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. The Lynx was founded in 1946 in the city of Philadelphia. The founders were members of St. Thomas Church, Margaret Rochelle Hawkins and Sarah Strickland Scott. and brothers, welcome to the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas here in the city of Philadelphia, city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. Today we worship on this being the last Sunday after Pentecost, also known as Christ the King Sunday. Here at St. Thomas, we once again lift our youth of our parish up in ministry as we celebrate 
Youth Sunday once again here at St. Thomas. Let us now prepare our hearts and our minds to worship the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God, Now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and peace, peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be fed and may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Chapter 34, thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I'll bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie, lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture in the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed. I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you push with flank and shoulder, and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set, set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them, he shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. Serve the Lord with 
gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. with you and also with you the holy gospel of our lord jesus christ according to matthew glory to you lord christ jesus said when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him then he will sit on the throne of his glory all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You are accursed. Depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? 
Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Chapter 25, verse 40, we have good news, very, very good news. Matthew says to come inherit the kingdom prepared for you. If you have done for the children, you have done for the least. And if you have done for the children, I believe, then you have done for me. Good news, very, very good news. As a Sunday school teacher and as a former Sunday school student here at the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas, I am one of the least. I am one of the children of the church, one of your children, from 52nd and Parish to 63rd and Overbrook. Someone in my 40 years in this church saw that I was hungry, thirsty, welcomed me when I was a stranger unclothed, sick, or imprisoned, and took care of me. It is my pleasure to participate in the care and keeping of this portion of our flock that are our littlest members. From our very, very tiny three and four year olds to our high school and college students, it is a pleasure to turn and give back to the Sunday school that took such good care of me. But when you look at me, please think of the children of our Sunday school, the children of Girls Friendly, the children in our scouting program, our acolytes, and that's easy enough. COVID-19 has us scattered, so we can't keep our eye on our children. Please keep your thoughts and prayers on the littlest, on the least of our flock. Because well beyond the programs of the church, the children of our church and our city our nation and the world need us to take action. They need us to feed them, slake their thirst, welcome them when they feel like strangers, clothe them 
when they feel underclothed or ill-clothed or unclothed. Heal them when they are sick and certainly comfort them when they are imprisoned. So good news in Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. The call to action is simply to seek out these sheep, like the children who are here today, or the child that speaks to you now. Seek out the sheep, feed them with spiritual food, protect the flock of the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas, and the world beyond these walls. Take strength, take purpose in the call to action to do a beautiful job based in scripture on the care and keeping of the littlest members of our flock. Thank you. Let us now reaffirm our faith by saying together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God and true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayer of the people. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may, may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who go, go, go in and hold authority in the nations. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works, works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give us to the, de the departed eternal rest. Let light and petrol shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Continue to pray for those in our parish who are sick or hospitalized or at home. 
recovering from illness. We continue to pray for our nation, pray for our elected officials. Continue to pray for the children and the youth of our church, of our community, of our families. Continue to pray for those who are infected or affected by COVID-19. Lord Jesus Christ, hear the prayers of your people and what we have asked faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectively to the glory of your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now kneel and confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your way to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. My sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us now present our offering and oblations unto Almighty God.
and sacrifices offered to the glory of Almighty God, special thanksgiving for our young people, our youth, our children who are in our lives. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right to give them thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by his glory as resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shared for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, good morning, my sisters and brothers. Welcome to the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas here in Philadelphia. I want to thank our youth who led us this morning through worship. I want to thank also our outstanding speaker this morning, Kareem Rivers, Anwar, Madison, and Roger. Thank you. Thank you to our mergers, Karen and Lisa. Thank you to Rollo Dilworth, our music person. Thank you, Quentin Hayward and Dale for Dale Williams for your wonderful service this morning in uh, videography. And last but not least, thank you to our own father, Gerald Collins, for this service this morning. I want to also take this opportunity to welcome worshiping with us this morning virtually the Lynx chapter of the Lynx here in Philadelphia. I'm going to ask um, Lisa if she would tell us about this group that's here worshiping with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The Delaware Valley, Pennsylvania chapter of the Lynx Incorporated is worshiping with us today. The Lynx Incorporated was founded in 1946 by St. Thomas Church members, Margaret Roselle Hawkins and Sarah Strickland Scott, who were very active members of the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas. Link Margaret Roselle Hawkins' lasting legacy at the church is her paintings of the 12 Stations of the Cross, which is a traditional liturgical devotion commemorating the last day of Jesus' life. The Links Incorporated is a public service organization determined to transform the lives of the vulnerable, the marginalized, and the voiceless. We believe our core lies in the belief that friendship, coupled with service, has a transformational impact on our communities and our lives. The president of the Delaware Valley, Pennsylvania chapter is Dr. Sean Blue, and the vice president is church member Kimberly Lloyd. The following St. Thomas church members are also members of the Delaware Valley, Pennsylvania chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. Lara Falusi, Dr. Diana Hutchins, Mother Joanne B. Jones, Pamela Johnson, Kimberly Lloyd, Dr. Monica Johnson Taylor, and Lois Schmidt. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. And again, to my dear sisters of the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania chapter of the Lynx. We welcome you this morning. We look forward to worshiping with you in person soon. Certainly if you don't have a church home, we extend an invitation to you to become a part of this community of faith. And that being said, I would also like to welcome another new member of our church who has recently joined this past week. And his name is the Reverend Daryl James. He is a retired, Episcopal priest and he has moved to the city of Philadelphia and has decided to make St. Thomas his home church. So we welcome Father James into our midst and certainly say if you do not have a church home we extend a welcome to you as well. Please express your interest by calling the office this week 
or sending us an email to let us know that you would like to be a part of the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas here in the city of Philadelphia. Stewardship campaign is off and rolling. If you have not submitted your 2021 faithful giving card yet, I urge you to please do that immediately. There are several ways that you may submit it. You may mail your card in, you may email your card in, or you may go online on our website or our Facebook page to submit your faithful giving card so that we may properly plan for our ministries of 2021. And last but not least, I want to wish all of you a very blessed Thanksgiving, but I will actually extend an official Thanksgiving blessing to each one of you by joining me on this coming Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning. We will have a moment to give thanks and also to receive God's blessing of thanks that morning. So please, if you have not registered yet for this coming Thursday to join us for a few minutes on Zoom, please either look at your spearhead um, email or look on our Facebook page or call the office to see how you may connect to us this coming Thursday, Thanksgiving morning at 10 o'clock as we will be able to gather as a church family just for a moment to give thanks to Almighty God. And now, May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and forever. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.